this is just the mod I made to the uh, Welsey uh, piece of crap fake garbage. Uh, this is what gave it the minimal current gain. Uh, what it is is just a modified 47 micro Henry uh, printed circuit board mount choke. Pretty much just break the base off. Unwind about I think either one turn or one and a half turns to get enough um, wire to reach the reach the contact points on the circuit board and pretty much solder that in and cover the thing with tape in order to avoid the uh, uh, damaging the enamel wiring from the um, solder contacts on the controller board. It's all that for, of course, something in this I probably got for like maybe a couple cents up at PT Surplus, but um, still not worth it because this was about 90 odd bucks on eBay with shipping. That, uh, this was about 118 bucks plus shipping from a uh, Solar Boulevard, but it's a real maximum power point charge controller, and you can actually get, and I just got two uh, of the MPPT250 versions, which are, this is, which are only good up to a 50 volt uh, maximum photovoltaic array. This guy's good up to 100, 100 volts, but those are 106 bucks each. So. Rather than get the uh, one of these pieces of garbage, just get one of these and just make a box for it because this is designed for, originally intended for things like recreational vehicles where there'd be an electrical panel to mount the thing in. Uh, this one, about the only thing going for it is that it can just be mounted to a back plane and it can run wires to it. But if you make a box, you've got room for things like fusing, because like this is all the fuses associated with it, your uh, 1 ampere KTK fuse for the auxiliary battery charge input, 25 ampere master controller fuse, and an 8 ampere fuse and a 2 and 8 tenths ampere fuse for loads controlled by the load disconnect in it. And, uh, yeah, and not only that, but this, the load and the MPT, MPPT250, the load controls good to 15 amperes. Which isn't quite as much as this, but then again, given the size of some of the printed circuit board uh, traces for that, I uh, wouldn't trust it on 20 amperes. Especially considering the really crap design, which, since normally you don't use the heatsink tabs as part of the circuit, it will occasionally be done, but generally there's, um, yeah, it's just bad make spectacular crap. Yeah, it's just, this is pretty much just, this is also the controller board, it's a little PIC16 F716 controller, 4 megacycle crystal, indicator LEDs, some service mount uh, capacitors, resistors, di uh, diodes, and a pair of optoisolators, which are probably used for um, MOSFET drivers. Because the uh, cap is uh, probably, or because the pick is uh, probably the um, current surge uh, from the uh, gate capacitance. Uh, it's probably, that's most likely what those are for. But uh, that's just mectacular crap. It's, I mean, like, that's the switch for the reset button. It's just a rubber dome with dedicated PCB. It's about the cheapest possible way of making a switch. Yeah, it's just crap. And then like that, which will look like a relay because relays often come in packages like that. It's a 555 timer in a custom package being used as a relay driver. It's just... bad. So, don't get one of these. Get a real maximum power point charge controller.